Chapter 46. Words are only indicators. Questioner. What is the meaning of presence, Maharaj? Maharaj. Presence means that which enables you to live, to talk. When the questioner in you is asking what is presence, that is presence. Questioner. So my presence will be there after my life? Maharaj, there is no after my life because presence is just like the sky. Questioner, so that is what I am, just presence? Maharaj, of course, of course. Questioner, and is that the same as Ranjit Maharaj's I am he? Maharaj, all these words are indicators, not ultimate truth. I am that, that you are. I am he. You can give any name you want. People come here and make this mistake. The indicators, pointers are taken for the real thing when they are only the W-O-R-D-S, the words that we created. These are simply the names that we have attributed to ultimate truth, ultimate reality, or whatever we wish to call it, for understanding purposes only. Don't take the Master's words literally. Your presence is spontaneous, silent, anonymous, unidentified. Therefore, I am He is simply a clue, an indication. Questioner, I prefer I am he, Maharaj. That's okay, okay. As long as you understand that this phrase is only an indicator, a clue, an intimation. Don't take it for ultimate reality. Questioner, if it is anonymous and imperceptible presence, how does anyone get to know about it? Maharaj, forget about anyone. Talk about yourself. Questioner, okay. How can I get to know about this presence then? Maharaj, you are the source of knowledge. You have exceptional power. Your inner master is ultimate truth. You and me, we are both the same. Questioner. You say that measuring ourselves in the body form is illusion. Is that because selfless self is not perceptible? Maharaj. When you try to see it, the seer will disappear. When you try to see it, the seer will disappear. Just see how you were prior to beingness. Be as you are. Be as you were prior to beingness. These concepts, perceptible, imperceptible, knowledge, man, woman, birth, death, this is all body-based knowledge. Forget it. Everybody says, I am Brahman, I am Atman. But that knowledge has to be fully absorbed within you in a real sense. You are master of masters. At the moment of conviction, you will forget about your identity. But remember, this conviction is spontaneous. Don't use force. It will appear spontaneously.